Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. If you're a new viewer, you're welcome. My name is Dami and you're watching Dami Dimension. I am so excited to share this gorgeous dress with you. I actually made the dress like this for myself some time ago and if, uh, uh, the owner of this dress saw it and she wanted it really bad. You know why? Because it's not just a dress, it's a dress with a bag. I'm going to show you that shortly. So underneath this cape, there is an opening where the client can breastfeed their child. So your client don't have to worry about breastfeeding in public. It's also on the other side as you can see. So if you want to know how this was made, keep watching and I'm going to show you that shortly. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, tell me what you're waiting for. You are going to be missing a lot if you don't hit that red button below right now to subscribe. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any video once I upload. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up as well. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So the first thing to do is to fold your fabric into two, which I have done already. And I have this part on fold. And the next thing I will do is to draw an horizontal line on the upper part. And this is going to serve as my shoulder line. And next, I'm going to be transferring the vertical measurement. And first, I'm taking my shoulder to nipple, which is 9 inches. And shoulder to waist is 17 inches. Then I'm adding half inch for the joining allowance. You can ignore that one. Okay, so I'm going to transfer this point into a horizontal line now, as you can see me doing okay so now this is my chest line this is my shoulder and this is the waist line and next I'm going to be taking the shoulder measurement half of the shoulder measurement for this person is 8 I'm going to add 1 inch for the zipper because my zipper is getting to the neck line okay so then I mark my 9 inches and I'm going to also mark this 9 inches here and draw that into a straight line. Okay, once that is done, we are taking the ham o measurement now. The ham o measurement for this person is 9 and it falls on that same chest line. So I don't have to draw another line for the ham o. Okay, so before we continue, I'm going to be showing you a dress that I made in the past, which is exactly the same thing we want to make now. So just to show you how uh, what we're working towards. So this dress is going to be having four darts in front only. Yes, you heard me. <laughs> so this is one uh, dart, this is another dart, and this middle one is a zipper actually. So we have the same thing here, dart, zipper, and dart. So, I just want you guys to see that the zipper runs all the way from the neckline down to the waist and the same on the second breast as well. So taking that into consideration, the quarter of the chest measurement of this person is 10 and a half. Then I added one inch for the zipper and another one inch for sewing allowance. That makes 12 and a half. Then I'm going to be marking the 12 and a half like that. And now I'm going to fold this dress into two just to mimic what we are working on right now. So now this is the position of the brown fabric we are working on now. So just to show you what that we are going to be having and the zipper. So we are going to be having one inch for this dart, one inch for this zipper and one inch for this dart as well. So that makes three inches on the waistline. Okay, so the quarter of the waist measurement for this person is 9 and I'm going to be adding 1 inch for the zipper and 2 inches for the two darts. Then another 1 inch for sewing allowance. That makes 13 and I'm going to be marking the 13 on the waistline like so. And then we are going to be connecting these two points together. Okay. And I'm just separating my zipper allowance just to be clear and next thing I'm taking the neck depth the neck depth is three and a half okay and the neck width should be six 
but I'm going to be adding one inch to that six to make it seven inches because like I said the zipper is going to cut through the neck width as well all right so just keep watching I'm going to show you how we are going to go about this and now I'm just connecting my neckline as you can see and then I'm taking one inch downward from here for the shoulder slope then connect that point to the neckline and next thing we are going to be drawing the ammo curve and in order to get the ammo curve we are going to be getting the midpoint of this line so draw an horizontal line at the midpoint like so and on that horizontal line you should come in by three quarter of an inch just like this and that is going to guide you on how to draw your ammo curve all right so I'm just drawing my ammo curve like so the next thing we need to open up where we are going to be inserting the zipper and in order to do that we are going to be uh, transferring the half of the nipple to nipple measurement because we are inserting the zipper on the nipple line okay so I'm bringing back that dress to show you guys again so this is half of the nipple to nipple measurement and this is where I have my zipper so when you open up your zipper like this you will see that half of uh, the zipper allowance falls on this side so we are going to be adding that half to the measurement we are going to be taking now I hope you guys get that all right so half of the nipple to nipple measurement of this person is three and a half then plus the half for the zipper all right so that makes four and i'm marking the four i'm also marking it on the waistline so i can connect it into a straight line all the way to the neckline and i'm going to be cutting through this so i can insert my zipper okay so next thing i'm going to be marking the dart so from this line that i just drew i'm going to be marking 1.5 inch all right and from my chest line i'm going to also be taking the same 1.5 inch so i'm going to connect that into a straight line okay and on this point take one inch downward like so and on the waistline take half inch to the right and half inch to the left like so and then you connect it to that point and once that is done just go ahead and cut out the shape and also slash through this part where we are going to be inserting the zipper then I also notch the middle point okay so this is what we have after doing that and like I said, we are going to be having four darts in front. So this is one of the darts. Another one is going to be here, another one here, another one here, and the zipper is going to be here. So go ahead and mark the dart the same way I just did. The next thing I will do now is to use this to cut my main fabric. And this is going to be the same as the back side as well. The only difference from the back is that it's going to have only one zipper at the center back. So in order to uh, cut the back, I'm going to join these two together like this. All right. And I will join the other one also together so as to eliminate the uh, two zipper allowances. All right. And once you're done joining them together, you can go ahead and use it to cut your back as well. The same neckline, the same shape, everything. Just make sure to create your zipper allowance while cutting the back. Okay, so here is it after I have joined those two together and I also created the four darts. So now I'm going to fold it into two and use it to cut my back panel. So now I placed it on the rest of my lining just to cut the back side and I left my one inch zipper allowance like so. And of course, make sure your fabric is folded in half. So I'm going to be cutting the neckline, same neckline, cut the armhole and cut out the shape. So this is it after cutting it out. I am going to split this part open so I can fix my uh, back zipper. And once that is done, you can go ahead and notch or mark your zipper allowance. For me, I'm going to be marking it. That is what I find comfortable this time. <laughs> 
all right and once i'm done with that i'm going to be cutting my cape and i'm just going to be cutting a full circle flare for the cape and here is my circle after cutting it out then i'm going to be splitting it into two if you want to see a video on how to cut this full flare just let me know in the comment section and i will try to upload a video for you guys okay and once you're done splitting them into two you should bring the ends together this way we are going to be taking a few inches away from it the way i'm going to be showing you now uh, while recording this video i took one inch and i cut it but i actually ended up taking out about three inches so if you are doing yours make sure you take off about three inches this way right and this is meant to give us that V effect at the front and at the back of the cape okay so repeat the same thing to the other circle as well and once you're done just use it to cut the lining and now we are going to be cutting the down part so my fabric has a width of 46 inches so and that's just about half of the skirt length that i need so i'm just going to be splitting it into two equal parts and finally i used this to cut my lining and the lining i made it uh, two inches shorter than the length of this one and about 10 inches less in width and that marks the end of the cutting section of this dress be sure to meet me in the sewing section in my next video watch out for that you can check my channel for the video and i hope you will give me a thumbs up and you will subscribe to my channel for more videos as well 